Hello everyone and welcome back here to the channel. For today's video, we're going to go ahead and check out the new patch notes for update 3.3. So it says the new update is being released on the 22nd of July. Here is a full overall description of everything that is new in update 3.3. Blitz changes. Blitz changes is missions done in a sequence. Therefore, on completing mission one, you are able to proceed to mission two. These missions will be timed event and the first one will start on the 27th of July. Location of the Blitz changes missions. These events will be in the bulletin and go live similar to victory Blitz event. General information. The missions contain a series of missions. Missions can only be accepted in order so players need to finish the current mission to unlock the next. Missions could require Pacific ship or require Pacific nation type or tier. Missions will include things such as dealing damage, sinking ships, winning battles, and more. Italian cruisers full release. The Regia Marina cruisers are arriving soon. Make your precise flat out of the seas by using the SDP shells of the Italian cruiser line and leading your team into victory. The Italian cruiser line is the first tech line to include fuel smoke. The following ships will be added to the Italian tech tree at a later date next month. That will be from Tier 1, Eritrea, Tier 2, Nino Bixio, Tier 3, Taranto, Tier 4, Arbeto de Giussano, Tier 5, Raimondo, Monticuculi, which will have two fuel smokes, Tier 6, Trento, which will have two fuel smokes, Tier 7, Sarra, which will have two fuel smokes and two precise aiming systems, Level 1, and Tier 8, Amarfi, which will have two fuel smokes, two precise aiming systems, Level 1, and two air defense alert, Level 1. Two new maps. New maps will be available once the update goes live. These are Deadlock, a domination map for Tier 7 through 10. Map designed to have players fight at a closer range while defending the points. While point A and C are surrounded by islands for close quarter action, point B is in the open seas. Careful not to be sniped from overwatching battleships. Crash Zone, a domination map for tier A through 10. Map designed to fight either at close range or from afar. One of the biggest maps in games. Point A is surrounded by many islands giving the close quarter style while B point is contained by two massive islands and point C is scarcely populated with small islands. Here's a better look at both maps. Update Battle Selector. As our game keeps growing and we add new modes, a new UI was added to reflect those changes. Therefore, we changed it up to make it easier to follow. Move Training Rooms to Battle Mode tab. When the player tabs on the Battle Mode tab, they are able to see the different modes available. New fleet bonuses. We added this system to allow fleets that have leveled up to the max an option to use their oil. Fleet building will supply new features when the fleet maxes. Using oil will activate the bonus for a certain direction of time. There are different buildings giving different bonuses. HQ will decrease receives cost. Core extra first victory bonuses of silver. Research extra first victory bonus of XP. Warehouse rare items can be refreshed in fleet store and center. Decreased target value of fleet challenges. Improved tutorial. Add a league tutorial. This will be open to the player when they reach level 5. When the player enters the league page for the first time, there will be dialogue to describe the league system. Added blueprints research tutorial. This will be also be open to the player at level 5. Like the league tutorial, when players enter the page for the first time, there will be a dialogue to describe blueprints research battle wiki editions i'm not going to go ahead and go over this you can stop the video here if you want and read it for yourselves tech line introductions a new explanation of ship lines have been added in the tech lines players can tab on the icon button to reveal information about that tech line of ships this will give players an idea of what the ship line is about and informs players of play style changes green signs means advantages and red signs means disadvantages Fleet Challenges Adjustments. The requirements of some fleet challenges have been adjusted. These challenges are as follows, uh, which is just what you get now for winning battles, destroying some ships, uh, earning silver and XP. You can stop the video here and read all of them if you do want. Bot Improvements. Bot AI has been changed on the map fault line. Here we will see how this works and then slowly roll out the improvements to other maps only if the test of the fault line is successful camouflage when a player obtains a new camouflage a red 
dot will appear leading them to the warehouse where it will lead the player to the new camouflage that they have obtained. Victory of Lenin camouflage is now in the armory for 4500 gold. Other additions, new art for loading screen, new opening animation on loading page, along with brand new music, seven new pretty loading screen backgrounds. Naval Academy level adjustment. The unlock level of the leaderboard has been changed to level five. The level of the league has been changed to level five as well. If the player already has unlocked the league system before the adjustment and their level is lower than five, the player will not be able to access the league page. The player will not be able to get league trophies, nor will they lose them. Trophy numbers will remain the same until the player reaches the required level. The player will still be able to receive weekly season rewards based on their trophies number. Torpedo Bomber Arc Retention For Torpedo Bomber and Aircraft Carrier, each squadron will maintain the same aiming arc to last firing. For example, when using Squadron A, the arc where you left it will be the same next time you use it. Shop changes, bundles, and special offers have been improved to make it easier to raid. Items that you get in a bundle are now easily seen on the front. Some bundles can now be seen with a timer. The eye icon can also be still tapped to see what's in the bundle. Bug fixes, the smoke bug uh, where you were still being able to be visible to the enemy while using your smoke. Asashio's torps have been changed to the deep water torpedo icon. The fault line where you will spawn next to an island has been changed and training room bird eye view has been fixed. New portraits, new portraits for league, three new female portraits, new battle pass portrait, Valkyrie Enterprise and Crimson Tide John Bart portraits. And that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Tell me guys in the comments down below of what you think about the new update changes uh, coming to the game and new additional content as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the open seas. Till next time.